admin's going to pull it up for you. Um, <coughs> it interacts with um, your, I uh, no, pull up the website. Uh, you download it, install it on your Mac, uh, and it allows you to take screenshots. Sorry. Well, you can already take screenshots on your Mac, but what this does is it copies that screenshot That's not it at all. into um, so it will take your screenshot and it will automatically upload it to Cloud Apps website for you. Now the other cool thing that it okay, does right <laughs> is it copies it to your clipboard. So what Evan's going to do is he's taking a screenshot or a partial screenshot um, and he has put it through its cloud app just by taking the screenshot. And now that clickly link up there shows me exactly where I want to go. Let me just tell you a use case for this. Around the, you know, around the office all the time, we're describing things, showing them, telling them different things. Sometimes the things are very visual. Or sometimes we're sharing something hilarious that we found on the internet. And before we're talking to share an image, image. <laughs> share an image, you know, before you download it, you have to upload it to a service, a tiny pic, and then you have to copy the URL after it uploads, and then you paste it into this makes it into two actions. Copy, paste, anything. On the, and I understand actually the cloud app has Windows and Linux third-party clients as well, so it's not just that. For instance, this app uh, will, if you press the shortcut, which is command option, or you can drag it from any bar, it will upload anything. Files, images, music, music from your iTunes library. That's a big one. Anything. And so it becomes a really fast way to share that. Okay, show. go ahead. Free. Free. That, that's the cool thing. Some of these that we're going to talk about do cost a little bit of money, but there are a lot of free tools out there. Um, and I can tell you right now that the pay tools are worth their weight in gold. And I'll, especially say, I'll mention if they're paid. I'll mention if they're paid, and I'll try to mention the free version as well. So I, I want to keep going with this quickly thing because uh, if you're like me and you do this a lot during the day for communication meetings or something like that, uh, minimizes. You see right here, you now have a little, j you have a picture on your desktop. Well, if I'm doing 30 of these a day, holy crap, I am filling up my desktop. And I don't like a lot of files on my desktop. I do keep some text files on there, but I don't want all these screenshots. So there's a program, bring up Hazel. I don't have Hazel, that's why I was No, bring up the website. Right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there is a app on the Mac, and I'm sure there are clones for the PC and Linux. Um, called Hazel. Now, 